Good morning. I'm making this video because um, I feel that I need to um, spread the word about this twin flame phenomena that is just um, everywhere and people are absolutely enchanted and they're trapped in this. Um, it's pretty much a counter counterfeit love story that was um, created by um, Satan, Lucifer, uh, because there's a spiritual warfare going on. And so the way Satan works is um, he knows he knows uh, humans, right? So he knows that we fall prey to our fleshly desires. And so whatever looks good, sounds good, feels good, that's how um, he will come up with um, pretty much a counterfeit to the truth. And that's how people get uh, lured into it. And I was actually one of the victims. I fell prey to all of this I was heavily heavily uh, involved in uh, new age spirituality and twin flame was part of it and I only recently came out of it and the veil finally came down and so now I see everything with such clarity and I cannot just not post this video in hopes that it will shed some light to another um, soul who's looking for their answers um, I believed all of this so for the past five years i've been on this um, i called it soul healing journey and i'll um i shared uh, my story in previous videos and it's um also in the video number one why jesus is the lord of my heart i put all my story in comments i um i wrote it on instagram and then i just copy pasted it there so please feel free to read and uh, you know to make your own sound judgment if i if I make any sense to you, but this is my personal testimony. And now that I'm out of deception, I just cannot not post this in hopes that it can help someone else who's stuck. So as I was um, telling, I was um, stuck heavily for five years in this new age spirituality and twin flame relationship. And the only spirit since, you know, that's what we're, we're all doing. We're trying to find that spiritual connection with the higher spiritual realm the only spirit that can help you heal you guide you is jesus christ i was saved by pure grace by him this is the only truth the only absolute truth that will guide you to your soul freedom to your answers to your peace to your clarity you have to sincerely and desperately that was my case start asking him to come into your heart and to heal you because this twin flame relationship is nothing but a luciferian agenda this is all part of new age spirituality let me just give you the red flags so you you make your own judgment but this is what now i see now that the the veil of enchantment is off it's such a so clear to me um flag red flag number one why is it only now that we hear about all these um, twin flames and it wasn't before who actually where where's this coming from where did the story of twin flames started do your own research if you believe in god i always believed in god i just ventured in, on the wrong paths trying to find my truth and um you know build my relationship with god so now that i'm starting to read the bible and doing research it, there's no mention of such relationship anywhere this is all just it's coming out now so that's a red flag number one who are you trusting you you're reading just like me i was doing the same thing i was buying all these healing sessions from the most famous twin flame person i, I subscribed to her newsletter a newsletter i bought all her healing set not all of them some of them and i totally trusted that person i then i bought some healing sessions from another person totally trusted and felt that it was all truth and it was actually helping me no, it was keeping me trapped in new age spirituality. This is all part of it. And I'm not condemning these people. They are also deceived. They're deceived by demons who are manipulating their souls. And I was part of it too. So red flag number one, who actually created this twin flame phenomena? Where did it start? Question that. Um, red flag number two why if it's, it's if it's meant to be such a beautiful most beautiful 
love story, union, union with purpose on earth. Why does it have to be so painful? Don't you see around you there are plenty of beautiful couples, soulmates, who live beautifully, who are in love. They don't go through any of this runner chase of phase and uh, um, healing your inner child and so forth. They are beautiful couples who live in this world. They do good and everything is fine. So that's a red flag. Why do you have to go through so much torment? And I did for five years up until I was saved by God's grace. I was stuck sincerely believing this fake love story. And this is nothing but a creation of the dark realm spirits to just, you know, to um, catch the souls. There is a spiritual warfare going on. There is. Open your eyes to it. They are fighting for each soul. The dark realm and the light realm. There is a war and it's for each one of us. Red flag number three. Pay attention. Try to remember when did you meet your twin flame? Was it at the moment when you were actually going through some kind of trauma, spiritual trauma, like me? I was going through a midlife crisis. I was in an unhappy, unhealthy relationship. That's when I found my twin flame on Instagram. So now I know this, this is, it's a spiritual attack. They are preying on the weak. When you're spiritually weak, meaning when you're going through some kind of turmoil, trauma, and you are actually not strong in your spirit, in your faith, like I was, that's when it's much easier to get into your spirit and to start guiding you step by step in the direction where they want you to go. It's, it's, it's like that. They prey on the weak, just like in real world, a wolf, you know, is preying on the weak prey. The same goes in spiritual world. They're preying on the weak, and I was the weak one. I was in trauma, I was in, in spiritual trauma, and uh, that was the perfect time to start planting the seeds of the counterfeit, of the, of the lie, step by step. And that's how I ventured off into this uh, new age spirituality. Red flag number, what is it now, four, three, sorry, I lost track. If you notice all these teachings that you're reading about twin flames, um, all the videos you're watching, and you, if you see the happy twin flame couples, is any of them speaking about God and Jesus Christ, or are they all part of New Age spirituality, which is a set of occult practices? Everyone that I now, you know, when I look back now, I look at the people who I trusted completely and believed sincerely that they were giving me the truth about Twin Flames. They're all practicing New Age spirituality. What is New Age spirituality? A cult. Forbidden knowledge. They're all, even like the people that I was following on Instagram or, you know, Facebook, if they're a happy couple, happy Twin Flame couple. Reiki master. Um self-evolution coach, guru, shaman. This is all New Age spirituality. Do yourself a favor, Google, Google New Age spirituality. Who started New Age spirituality? Occult equals to Satanism. This is not from God. You're being pulled and deceived into the Luciferian agenda of creating a new world, new world order, collective conscious. This is all Lucifer, Satan, everything but Jesus Christ. The only truth, <clears throat> the only absolute truth is Jesus Christ, that spirit that you're looking for. And so desperately trying to channel the energy or connect with the spirit guides. By the way, this is all again occult. This is all from dark spirituality. And you think you're connecting with the, the um, true angels and, uh, uh, you know, connecting with God. This is all a big lie. 
The only true spirit who can really heal you and save you is Jesus Christ. And you know that this is the truth when you actually read about him, look up movies about him, just watch his life, watch what he was teaching, what he was preaching, how he died, how he resurrected, and you will know that this is the truth. This is the Son of God. This is the healer, the savior, the salvation. This is the only way. Another red flag. I remember, it, it just now all comes to me. When I was buying all those healing sessions from the famous um, Twin Flame um, uh, Twin Flame person, um, there was the phrase in uh, one of her either uh, meditation videos or in her blog, don't tell anyone about this connection because you can spoil the raising the energy vibration. Now I understand why don't tell anyone because any sound person, if you start telling them about what you're going through and you're hiding this relationship, you're not telling anyone, I was doing that. They will, they will tell you, snap out of it. What are you doing? This is, something is often here, but that's another plot just to keep you stuck in it. And then you just keep going on the path of the new age because this is what I was doing. I was believing her sincerely that, and I was actually feeling better because, you know, her whole presentation was, you didn't, you didn't have to suffer, you have to raise your vibration, you know, you have to come in, in the union in, in the 5D reality, but guess what? What are all these steps? What are you actually doing? New age spirituality, occult, raising vibrations, 5D realm, this is all, this is all dark spirituality and you don't even know it because it's packaged as this beautiful, you are evolving, you are, you're working on yourself, you are healing yourself, you are doing all of this, you know, in the name of love and light, but guess what? Lucifer is the angel of light, but the light of lies and deceit. So I was doing all of this, raising my vibrations, purging, doing lots of shadow work. Guess what shadow work is? Yes, it helped me tremendously to understand myself. That that was the biggest one that, that you know, I struggled with um, to realize that, you know, why, why was that not the right thing to do? You know, what, why, is, why is it not the way? It, it shed some light onto my, um, onto my uh, dark, unhealed side, but... I didn't have to do that because ultimately when you do shadow work you embark on the path of dark spirituality you go deeper and deeper into the new age spirituality which is all occult just look it up all of this meditations yoga chanting um, Reiki crystals this is all not from God. You are tapping into a forbidden knowledge. So ultimately what's happening, um, the dark spiritual forces are luring you in to their, you know, into their kingdom. They're keeping you away from your true relationship with God. There's absolute God, there's his son, and you can find salvation and, and healing and freedom through him. You just have to call him into your heart and show you the way. That's what I did. That's when everything just fell off my eyes. I was enchanted. This is what it is. It is a pure enchantment. It is like a trance state. You are being groomed and you don't even know because you believe it. You believe you're doing all the right things because you know you sincerely are um, searching for that, um, for those spiritual answers because you are of a spiritual nature and that's how that deception works. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit of truth sprinkled into this big elaborate lie and it looks good sounds good feels good but it's a lie so this twin flame it's it's a lie period i do not believe in this anymore i kind of also <clears throat> went through a period of thinking no maybe there's like you know true twin flames and um, false twin flames no i do not buy this anymore i know a couple um, of people who are really divinely 
connected but what i believe now there it's again it's a not tw twin flame is from evil period this is a satanic agenda what this couple is to me is just soulmates they're true soulmates the union has to be in god when both people put god first true god not the you know not not lucifer then these unions are blessed and they're divine and uh they're the the union in truth but all this twin flame please i urge you do not believe this just think about it why do you have to suffer so much the suffering pushes you into digging more into the new age spirituality because i went through all of this i was doing all of this i was healing myself purging shadow work chanting uh releasing uh buying healing energy sessions also whoever was helping me they're deceived i ended up um, introducing kundalini spirit into myself and i didn't know it did feel good it was it felt peaceful and blissful but it was not from god hinduism buddhism i was all like gravitating towards it this is not the path it's a path of deception buddha was deceived when the veil came off my eyes and when i started researching the subject uh, uh please pay attention there's an image of buddha sitting in that enlightenment pose and guess where he's sitting he's sitting not on the ground there is a huge serpent cur 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 tail curled under him and there's a huge serpent head hovering over him Lucifer's deception, Hinduism, these are deities, they're worshipping deities, these are the fallen crea creations, this is not God, God is sovereign, God is absolute, there's God, there's no darkness in him, the connection to God is through Christ, he is the son of God, he is who was he was saying he was, all the rest it's not the path to the truth. It's not. I'm not devaluing any religions or any paths. I'm just telling you that this is the truth and the other part is not the truth. Twin flames is nothing but an elaborate lie. Because people want to be in love, because people want to believe, you know, this is the most beautiful love union. And um, they want to be, you know, they want to live a meaningful life and with purpose. And you know how it says it will guide others on earth. You know, it's, it has the divine purpose. I would love to have that too. And I believed on, on all of that. But then the things were not adding up. I was stuck in this weird, sick dynamic. And by pure grace of God, I was saved. It's all in my videos. If you go back, you'll find my story. I urge you, please don't fall prey to this twin flame counterfeit love story. If you are stuck, just open your heart to Jesus. Call him. He's the only spirit who can show you the truth and heal you and set you free. Call him into your heart. Just like that, like I did. I found this beautiful, simple prayer. All I did was when I was like really struggling and not understanding what was going on, all I did, I said, Dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are the Lord of my heart. Please come into my heart. Please help me understand your love and grace. Please help me. Please guide me. Please heal me. Just say it sincerely and you will see what will start happening in your life. You will start seeing the truth and you will be set free. You will no longer have that crazy longing. I, I used to be longing for my twin flame so bad it's all gone now i just pray for him because he's deceived we still stay in contact i contacted contacted him again because now i don't have that sick sick attachment this demonic the de it was it's actually pretty much de demons oppressing you i forgot to tell you that i will try to post the resources under this video so what's happening is that when you know when we're vulnerable and we let um, let those um demonic uh, spirits um, to oppress us they start manipulating us they start pushing us into the you know into the direction that they want us to go because you know they want to win the war the spiritual warfare 
But God is almighty. Jesus is the Savior. Trust your heart to Him. You will be set free. Just like me, I'm the proof. Look up uh, YouTube for Saved by Jesus. Look how many videos will come up. Then try to type Saved um, by Buddha or Saved by um, um, Hindu. You will not find. You will probably like find one video. Look how many testimonies are there from New Age to Jesus. Just look. Do your own research. I created videos, um, uh, playlists. Uh, look, uh, look up at my playlist, uh, Saved by Jesus and also New Age Deception. Just look at, look at my playlist. I'm collecting as I go, as I'm healing myself um, and trusting Jesus to guide me. I, I'm just, you know, I'm doing my research and saving the videos that touch me the most. And uh, all you have to do is just uh, um, start reading the Bible because the Bible is full of wisdom. This is God, God. God's word, it, 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 he's revealing himself through the Bible and just start praying. All you need to do is pray. When I was meditating and doing all these mantras and, and chanting and everything, yes, it feels peaceful, but you know what? You're actually just emptying yourself. You're, you are, um, your submit it's submission you're submitting your 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 body your spirit you you're just like you know making it empty and you're opening it up for the darker spiritual realm um, spirits coming to you that's what you're doing this is all worshiping fallen creations deities yoga is kundalini spirit awakening i didn't know any of that When the veil come, came off, it started making sense. Yes, it feels very nice, it calms me down, but what are you actually, what spirit are you allowing to come into you and dwell in you? Is it Holy Spirit? Or there's a counterfeit Holy Spirit, which is Kundalini Spirit? Please, I urge you, don't fall prey to this twin flame. Um, counterfeit love story, it is not the truth. I hope... Um, you call Jesus into your heart and he'll set you free just like he set me. I um, I love you. I just want to help you see the truth for what it is. Please don't be stuck in this. Um, just be free. Uh, be in a true relationship with the absolute God, our Heavenly Father. And this relationship is through his um, amazing, gracious, merciful Son, Jesus Christ. He is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. God bless you.